I'm Scott with Schneider Tree Care. Today we wanted to talk about one of the trees that's very common in our region and that's the dogwood. Uh, we just went through the blooming season of dogwoods. Um, they're really good this year but it is a tree that um, requires a little more care and maintenance. It's a little more sensitive to things and with the rain and um, temperatures we've had this season we've seen a lot of uh, disease issues. We're looking at the leaves and this spring because of the rain and weather that we've had we're seeing a lot of uh, curling undeveloped leaves and spots. So this might be something that you're seeing in your landscape. Uh, this is more commonly known as dogwood anthracnose. Um, so on a dogwood like this the leaves should look more like this. They should be a little bit larger, uh, clear of spots, and um, supporting the tree a lot better than these are. When, when leaves are undeveloped and diseased like this, uh, the tree will begin to struggle, and this disease can also spread to the, the smaller twigs. So this is something that can be managed, um, and we do that through um, taking care of the health of the plant, proper mulching, watering, nutrients, as well as um, treating for dogwood anthracnose. So normally we will spray these with a fungicide uh, three times a year in the spring to coat the leaves and protect them from, from this spotting that happens. And then the leaves can fully develop and function throughout the season and take care of the dogwood better. So if you have dogwoods in your yard and you enjoy the blooms, um, realize they take a little bit more care and maintenance. They are an understory tree. However, uh, they like a little bit more sun to bloom and um, there's a couple of diseases that need to be managed. So keeping them healthy is certainly key and managing uh, the anthracnose that we see in this region is also important. 